recap. The time has come for me to fulfill a, s a sponsorship obligation. My co-host today is from White Label Armory. You may remember my co-host because it's John's co-host as well. I made a video called My 10-Year-Old's First Co-Host. That's what this was. This is. It's from White Label Armory. My co-host enjoys Glock mags just from a Glock 9mm. Pretty cool stuff. It's not a rifle. It's a pistol. They're going to be selling this whole thing at the end of the month on there. My co-host. So be on the lookout for that. Just a few points about my co-host. Owned and operated by DRG Manufacturing. DRG is an OEM manufacturer for multiple large name gun companies. They have a ton of stuff. It's 100% American made. White Label is the portal for end users, dealers, and small manufacturers to gain access to large OEM, OEM capabilities. Florida woman was denied a slice of pizza by another Florida woman, so she tried to stab her. Pizza is serious business. The funny thing about this recap is every single story we look at is from the past week or like week and a half. So I, it's, it's, I don't know what happened the past week. I, it's, it's probably because it's hot. When it gets hot, that's when crime goes up. Florida man went on a taser rampage. He tried to tase a bunch of people after he got hit. After he got into a car wreck. <laughs> it says he got into a car wreck and he got out of the car and he tried to tase the guy who was he was in a wreck with. The guy ran from him and so he started chasing everyone around the wreck with a taser. Florida woman didn't have a fast pass to the Tower of Terror, so she punched a Disney employee and started pressing random buttons on the ride controls. Florida man wanted some McDonald's ice cream, but as per McDonald's company policy, the ice cream machine was broken. Florida man got a Florida man, so he pulled out an AR-15. <laughs> the employees ran for cover and locked themselves in the bathroom. It turns out it was an airsoft gun, but you still can't do that, so he was arrested. GF is in Mississippi for 10 months. Oh, we no. love watching you videos together. Sweet. I leave for basic very soon, and I'd appreciate what? it if you could say a little message for her. Patrick loves you. Um, stay away from Jody. And he looks forward to seeing you after basic. The Georgia woman was arrested after she got after she got cold French fries from McDonald's. Then she walked into the kitchen with a gun and fired a shot into the floor. Indiana mom was arrested for leaving her toddler in a hot car in the parking lot of the Department of Child Services while she was inside having a meeting about mistreating a child. <laughs> Five Florida guys were arrested after a fist fight at Five Guys. <laughs> there were no reports of milkshakes bringing any boys to the yard, but a fracas at a Florida Five Guys did bring cops to the restaurant and Five Guys were arrested. What? For fisting at Five Guys? He thought it said for fisting at Five Guys? <laughs> oh god. I'd hate to be the worker that had to clean up that bathroom. <laughs> Hospitalized fugitive says, I definitely regret it after spraying cop with mace. This guy got pulled over. He had distribution of meth warrants, said he didn't want to leave his two dogs, so he pepper sprayed the cop and tried to run. Well, the cop shoots him. The guy says that the cop overreacted, but he also says he definitely regrets doing it. Yeah, you kind of took a hollow point to the chest. A 69-year-old Antifa dude armed with a rifle tried to firebomb an ICE detention center and got clapped by four cops before he could do any damage. Better luck next time. Florida man did some pretty messed up stuff. Uh, he thought that a dude was sleeping with his wife, so he drove over to the guy's house, tied him up, and using some scissors, took his wobbly bits and left the scene. From what I've read on here from a few articles, they did not find the wobbly bits. In West Philadelphia, a father chased a car thief down and beat him to death after the dude stole dad's car with his kids in the back seat. The thief got stuck in traffic, so dad jerked him out, and some bystanders joined in stomping him to death. Reports say police haven't charged anyone and I really, really hope they don't. A Colorado woman in a cat shirt was arrested for trying to poison her neighbor's dog. An Oregon woman pulled up to the drive through window at Taco Bell and poured Hennessy into a Taco Bell employee's mouth while a Washington County Sheriff's deputy was in line behind her. That's really brave to eat Taco Bell on duty. Do you understand how hard it is to take your whole kit off when you have a code brown emergency? When you can't quite make it to the fire station to poop in their pristine toilets? You're unfamiliar with the practice of wearing a duty belt, but you wear a regular belt and then you put the police belt over the top of that and then you usually have between four and six little things called belt keepers and it's just a thin strip of leather with a button and so you button your duty belt to your actual belt. And then if you don't want to look like ass, you wear shirt stays. So now you have shirt stays and then you have your radio probably attached to some part of your shirt. And of course, when you take your belt off, your radio usually comes with it and you have to detach every 
every bit of that to do a code brown. Eating Taco Bell on duty is absolutely insane. She just, she was very, very unlucky that she caught that one cop in every department that eats Taco Bell on duty. My son used to love Taco Bell and all of a sudden, I guess his, his child body finally adapted to the shitty food. And I asked him one day, I was like, Hey, do you want to go get Taco Bell? Like you, you know, like you, like you like, you like Taco Bell. And he said, dad, no, Taco Bell gives you watery poop. White water police seeking multiple charges against man who swam away from officers in a lake. Rye police charge friend of God with indecent exposure. When I first saw this, I was thinking, uh, maybe he's crazy which he, he quite possibly could be, and that's just what he said. I'm a friend of God. Maybe he's in a cult. He was walking down the road in his birthday suit. Police stopped him. He didn't want to put clothes on, so they tased him while he was naked, which that's such a gamble where that little fish hook goes into your body. Turns out, though, that his legal name is Friend of God. <laughs> Police are searching for a wigged bandit targeting Metro Atlanta Waffle Houses. Of all places uh, to target, why Waffle House? So far, he's robbed other Waffle Houses, Walgreens, PNC, PNC, Penis Bank, PNC Bank, Dollar General, and CVS. So he's robbed a bunch of places. He's facing life in prison. From a tactical standpoint, I don't see a Waffle House as being a great place to rob because I feel like the floors are always greasy at Waffle Houses, and that's just an easy way to to just fuck up your own your own robbery by tripping and breaking your neck. Young Dro was arrested after throwing banana pudding at his girlfriend. Texas man in his 60s stole an ambulance to go buy fried chicken and cigarettes. <laughs> California man ate meth then killed his wife. When police asked why he did it, he told them that a powerful group infected him with mayonnaise. I promise you it was not me. Man sauce? Uh, no, I think that's that. I think they infect him with man sauce after he goes to prison. Indiana woman wore stolen dentures to meet her probation officer and was arrested again. A 16 year old, two 14 year olds, and a six year old broke into a store in North Carolina and stole 10 handguns. Uh, yesterday in Chicago, a guy on an electric sc scooter hit a poor pedestrian and tried to flee. A cop saw the guy and turned on the cherries and berries, but the guy in a car in front of the cop thought that the cop was pulling him over, so he pulled over to the right and hit the guy who was fleeing on the scooter. The guy in the scooter is in critical condition now, and the cop still went to the hospital and gave him a ticket. <laughs> no mercy! A lot of people really don't understand just how horrible policing during the summer is. You're under a layer of polyester, a Kevlar bulletproof vest, undershirt you're wearing all this gear you have perpetual swamp ass then you get into a fight with a homeless dude who keeps raw chicken in his pocket and some rookie accidentally oc sprays you and you just want to you know kill yourself a canada police had an oopsie this week they were doing a press conference slash live stream for a double homicide but they l accidentally left the cat face filter on and that's a screenshot from the conference of the press conference of a double homicide <laughs> Still looks better than the new Cats movie. Mishap leaves two-year-old Missouri girl with a cake saying, Happy birthday, loser. <laughs> Look at her face. <laughs> what a loser. I'm definitely getting John a birthday cake. This is happy birthday, loser, for his next birthday. A 26-year-old man crashed his van into some police cars out in front of the police station, then drove off. Like... What a rascal. It turns out that the van had 601 pounds of Florida man fuel valued at $200 million. Like, why would you be anywhere near a police station with nearly a quarter billion dollars of meth? Why, after plowing into police cars, would you still be driving around with $200 million worth of meth in your van? Bungendor, that is also an upside down land, Got the good good this week as well. Officers found a backhoe containing 846 pounds of a white powdery substance. Estimated street value, 140 million. Someone hollowed out an excavator, a backhoe, and filled it with 384 packages weighing about a kilogram each of 
Cocaina. You may have seen this one already, but the Coast Guard is out here pulling over Mexican cartel submarines. For real. A Coast Guard airplane spotted the 45-foot semi-submersible sub submersible just trucking along the Pacific at 10 miles an hour. They radioed it in, and some boaty boys initiated a traffic stop, boarded their vessel, and seized 17,000 pounds of cocaine worth $232 million. If you haven't seen it yet, this is insane. These are... The best road pirates I've ever seen. But they're pirate pirates. Look at this dude. Dumbass opens the door, right? <laughs> you idiot. I was reading some of this. It says they catch one or two of these a year, which leads you to think, how many of these actually are there? They have to build these in the jungle away from authorities and then <laughs> somehow sneak it to an ocean. The Coast Guard described it in this article as th them patrolling is like two police officers patrolling the entire United States. How many Colombians know how to make a submarine? Where are my Colombian sub makers at? <laughs> Where y'all at? <laughs> this is the California Highway Patrol Explorers, I believe, but look what they're making them do. Number two over there, go. <laughs> stop smiling stop having a good time and naruto over there do you guys want to submit your own stories right now if you're a sub you can put links in the chat so if anyone wants to submit their own story that isn't completely tragic and isn't a shooting then we'll take a look at it florida man eats chicken wings refuses to pay for them then pulls out his penis toddler swept away by baggage carousel at airport the two-year-old whose mother had looked away for a second while printing boarding passes was dragged out of the room and through the machine before being rescued by airport staff oh no there's a video don't do it you have so much to live for ah, ah <laughs> mom and he's gone never to be heard from again there he goes. He's going through the x-ray machine. No! Oh. <laughs> Anything but this. No! Ah! It's like an obstacle course, little dude. <laughs> oh no, they got him. It ate him. Look, there he comes down the conveyor belt. <laughs> Woman accused of leaving $5,000 revenge tip on boyfriend's credit card. A woman looking to get revenge on her boyfriend tipped a Florida server $5,000. Police say the restaurant had already paid out the waitress. A Florida woman arrested for grabbing husband's penis too forcefully. This happened yesterday. Look at that. She's a real ball breaker from the New York Post. A sex-hungry Florida woman was busted for allegedly grabbing her husband's genitals with such force that the victim crumpled over and had trouble walking. Anastasia Tash was charged with domestic battery for the Monday incident that occurred at the couple's Tampa home. She clamped down on her hubby's manhood while he was sleeping on the couch without provocation or permission. She did that because she was attempting to arouse the victim in an effort to have sexual intercourse. When wine really in the mood, she just comes over and hits me in the dick with a hammer. Home Depot bomb threat was actually customer warning he's about to poop. <laughs> A Home Depot customer's polite warning that the end of days was imminent, <laughs> announcing to others that he was about to go poop in the washroom was mistaken for a bomb threat. From now on, when I'm about to shit myself from eating too much Taco Bell, I'm going to say the end of days is imminent. He turned to another person when he was in the bathroom and said, you all need to get out of here because I'm fixing to blow it up. <laughs> Luke Skywalker, arrested in Tennessee. 